on a separate issue, Bond and Clemens didn't get in this year. They got a high 50%. And they got three years left. Yeah. They obviously deserve to be in. This is ridiculous. I, I don't even think you put an asterisk or separate wing of the Hall of Fame. Just put them in. They're Hall of Fame players. Everybody knows the suspicions. Like, you know, if you, you don't have to say it. People are like, oh, yeah, he, he maybe took steroids or whatever. But just put them in. They're Hall of Fame players. You know what I mean? I, no, I, I Listen, I agree with you. I think I think that. You know, we've talked about this. I mean, guys like Mark McGuire and Barry Bonds and even Clemens to a, to a degree took steroids when they weren't illegal. Yeah. Right? I mean, they, they, they were passed around the locker room yeah. regularly. Okay? Now, some of these newer guys, obviously, who are getting caught right. are, are going against the rules. But, you know, I don't know that you can keep them out of the Hall of Fame, I guess. You know, I mean, I was... And, I, and I've talked about this. I've said this. I'm a. I'm starting to come around a little bit after after what thirty years on Pete Rose. But you know, if you bet on baseball, that's a non Hall of Fame offense, at least for a while, okay? Or if you bet on you know something like that 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 you that you destroy the integrity of the game, okay? But how does we don't even know how many guys were taking steroids yeah. for goodness sakes, okay? So how can you decide, okay, because Bonds and Clemens are high visible players, uh, we're going to go ahead and penalize them. Okay. I, I just don't think it's, I don't think it's fair. Yeah. I don't have any evidence opposite, but I, I can guarantee you that there's somebody in the hall of fame right now that took steroids. No question. That people don't know about, or no question. Know, I, don't, I don't know who that would be, but there's probably somebody like that. So yeah, no question. Yeah. And I mean, like you said, nobody, they weren't illegal. That's the biggest thing. I mean, um, we talked about it and I said, I'll be very interested to see what happens to a rod because one, they were illegal when he tested positive. Right. And two, he's reframed his image now where he's, t- he's liked by everyone. And part of the reason Bond and Clemens aren't in is because people don't like him. Right. Right? Because, bon, you know, Bond was probably kind of a dick when he played, and Clemens is similar. Yeah. But now everybody loves A-Rod. You know, he's turned his image around, so we'll see what happens with that. Well, you see, A-Rod, A-Rod, A-Rod reminds me a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? And the reason I say that is, if you remember Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was governor, right after he left the, the governor's office... They uncovered that affair that he had with his maid, yeah. right? Okay. And he really, really went down politically and, you know. But what did he do? He went back to his base, didn't he? He started doing movies again. He started smoking cigars. He started doing stuff that the old Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. would do, right? And he's rebuilt his image, right? A-Rod is smart, okay? What did he do? He rebuilt his image. He got on Baseball Tonight. Yeah. He got on the Sunday Night Baseball. He does the Fox stuff. He's says the right things, yeah. does the right things. He came out just the other yesterday and said, you know, I really feel bad for Bonds and Clemens. You know, I, I think they should be in. I hope, you know, I get in. But I, he goes, I made a mistake. You know, he's saying the right things. So yeah. he's hoping that when he's eligible here in another three years, yeah. right, that they'll say, oh, you know, yeah. A-Rod's a really a pretty good guy. Yeah. You know, let's just go ahead and let him in. You know, yeah. but I think you hit the nail on the head. I think Bonds and Clemens you know, pissed so many people off that these guys are just not going to let them get in, you know? At yeah, least. but I also think that you can't put A-Rod in until you put Bond and Clemens in. I agree with if that. If they vote A-Rod in, that's completely ridiculous. I agree with yeah. that. You yeah. know, I mean, I agree with that 100%. Yeah. Uh, but I think, what do we say? Clemens and Bonds have three more years, yeah. right? Which is what? Uh, 20, 21, and 22. Yeah. And A-Rod's eligible in 22, right? Yeah. Okay. Put all three of them in together yeah. that year. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's that. that's the way to do it and then end it right yeah. because aren't those the three guys left that there's any question about really david ortiz yeah but he's not a hall of famer i don't think you're gonna put him in yeah, but he, that, right? i don't think he's a hall of famer all right but <laughs> i, I mean but, but is he really even being he's not he doesn't even he hasn't been proven to be taking no. steroids okay so that's a different story yeah. though but what i'm what i'm getting at is there any other really uh, high profile no. great player no. no so it's those yeah. three yeah. so really what the best thing to do is in 2022 when Bonds and Clemens are yeah. on their last leg and A Rod's on his first, put him in. Yeah, that would be that'd be good. I like that. You know, yeah. I mean, and then end it, and then and then you know it's over. Yeah. 